Okay, we just got to the ferry port. The van is round full. We've got so much kit and we're ready for clip muller and silk. Bring it on. We're on our way to the Kia Cold Hawaii Pro in Denmark. Uh, we're here in Harwich, we're on getting a direct ferry to 18 hour overnight crossing so we can chill and relax on our way direct to Esbjerg in Denmark. Just by the sky boy, it's taken 20 hours from Dover to get there and we're just going to nip on the ferry from Harwich to Esbjerg is it? And, uh, we can spend 16 hours chilling out. Down a bar, down a casino. Tree houses, my so I think we chose the better option here. I'm not looking forward to the boat. I've never been on a North Sea cruise before. Simple thing with my name. Okay, we've just spoken to the captain. He says the forecast is amazing, especially for Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Like 50, 60 knots of wind, maybe. And, uh, He's got a holiday house in Clintmuller, so it's going to be firing. Now that's what I'm talking about, that's my sort of journey. Slept most of the way, had some nice food, and now we're in Denmark. Simple, three hour journey, hit Clintmuller, here we come. Single elimination didn't go so well for me and Ben, but he caught up with Kevin Pritchard, who was ripping. You pull out the one-footed, one-handed back loop yep. every time. I haven't seen you miss many. Well, that's uh, that's the only way I can get through heats is to pull out that move. You know, it scores an eight or a nine usually. Ricardo stormed his way to the final in the single elimination. It's kind of scary move, it's move, but especially when you go really high. But the judges like it and you know you have to risk it. Uh, it was an awesome day here in Kutmuller for our first day of the contest. Uh, we had an uh, awesome wind, awesome waves, and um, good result, you know, for sure. The first place is always good on the single elimination. We went straight into the double elimination, then caught up with Duncan Coombs to see who the standout sailors were. The Danish guy, Danielson, was really impressive here. Yeah. You could tell it was his home spot. He seemed to know where the wave was breaking, the same as class. Every time I saw you, you were on a usually pretty decent wave and getting yeah, some the, good I long rides. The trick, the trick on that day was just to stay a bit more upwind. Yeah. Because normally you hear when you come, come into the point, and you think you're on a good wave, and then the part downwind of you is just just Close disappears flat, to yeah. a hill, and upwind of you is suddenly there's Walling a good up. section. So. Yeah. Britain's Ross Williams and Jamie Hancock they made fantastic comebacks in the double elimination, as did Moroccan wonder kid Bouj Margalur. Ben caught up with him. He come back with the double? Yeah, yeah. It was a surprise for me. I just sailed as safely as possible. I didn't want to try any aerials or any tricks, so I did my turns, my hits. Victor! You must be pretty happy from that massive comeback. I mean, how many heats did you sail to come back from the 
Well, yeah, I'm really stuck. I I couldn't believe it. In you know, at the end of the day, when I I came back from nine hits on the same day, and then yeah, like the first day, I, I did three. No one's really come back from the out first round to win. I think Kevin Pritchard did it way back at the Aloha Classic in 2000. I mean, you just missed out on first place, but it was close. You took yeah. Cowley to an extra final. I yeah. mean, were you pretty tired by this point, or you still had quite a lot of energy? You still, you know, I, adrenaline was probably flowing. Yeah, I think the adrenaline helped me, you know, like, uh, when you go so up, you, you will still want more, you know? And for sure, um, was a was an awesome event, and I think, of course, to come out of the first place is always good. But I think, besides that, uh, what it really I think was good about this event is kind of those super sessions. I think was something that was good for this part. <laughs> It's like uh, everybody together towards one goal, you know, that's having yeah. to push the sport to a next level and like everybody is like ripping and trying hard and pushing each other towards in a, in a good way, you know, because sometimes when there's competition, but it's a competition in a bad way that people yeah. want to just be better than the other, but not. And I, like, now you see that people really, they help each other to improve and to be better into the main goal for the sport, you know, yeah. to be uh, the sport to come to a next level, you know, so it's a, it's a good event. scripted it better really Ben. We arrived here and it was a nice sunny day, got everything set up, then the wind picked up a little bit so people could go on the water for an hour so the judges could kind of see where the wave broke and how it was. The judges tower was all good, the organisation was very good. Really good wasn't it, the organisation, yeah. I was really impressed with that. And the media coverage was excellent as well. Two, two events, you took me down twice. Before each event, before each I've given you a bit of trash talking, winding you up, thinking it might put you off your game. It doesn't seem to work, it's, does it? <laughs> you just can't handle my little mind game I always play with you. It doesn't seem to work. He's, For he's, every heat. Yeah, it seems I've, I need to change my tactics uh, because every at two events you've had the best scoring weights of the day in my heat. Sorry. Hey. How rude. Hello. How do you ride the waves here? What's um, the, what's the you trick? just have to pick the right waves, I guess. Yeah? Is there Against any... you, I just took the biggest ones and I... Smacked the hell out of them. Yeah, yeah. all right, we don't exactly. want to go into that one. <laughs> Come on, thanks, Paul Seeker, and uh, hope I see you next time again. Thanks, Ted Moller, thanks, Denmark, and I see you next year. <laughs> Thank you, France, man. <laughs>